Are you a student currently living outside the European Union, but you want to study in a EU country? Then Ireland might be the right choice for you. This video is a step-by-step -step guide of how to apply to Irish universities and what you have to do. You also can use it to apply to other countries in the EU. The process might be slightly different, but it's going to be pretty similar to this one. Hello guys, my name is Anna Maria and you're all very welcome to my channel. Here I talk about life abroad and about education. I'm filming this video from Dublin, Ireland, and it's being a lovely, lovely day today. It's so warm, it's amazing, and it's so beautiful. That's why I'm in a very good mood and I'm ready to tell you some some very important steps to make towards your goal. I'll tell you about six points and six steps you have to do in order to prepare yourself and to get approved to an Irish university. Number one is check your visa requirements. It's very important to know what kind of visa requirements you have and how long you can stay in the country and what kind of obligations you'll have towards the country. And also with an Irish student visa, usually you can just work part-time from September to May and during the summertime you can work full time. So that's why please make sure you check what kind of requirements there are for you. Number two is make a very good research about colleges or universities in Ireland. It's very important to know which university is good, which one is, will suit you, which one is more affordable and which one offers more scholarships. Number three is decide which course you want to take. It's very important to decide on what you want to do. If you made the, the wrong choice and you went for the wrong course and you don't like it, you can later on change to a different course by just passing a couple of exams. If you have received a scholarship, it might be a little bit more difficult to change to a different course. That's why check all the T's and C's of your scholarship. Number four is apply for the course you've decided to take. Some students think that they can apply for 100 courses or for 10 courses, 10 universities, but you have to keep in mind the fact that when you submit an application, you have to pay an application fee, which is non-refundable. And now let me take you about these application fees from different colleges and universities from Dublin. To apply to the Trinity University, you'll have to pay 155 euro. For the UCD University College Dublin, you have to pay 50 euro. In DIT, which is Dublin Institute of Technology, you pay 45 euro. For ITT, which is Institute of Technology in Tala, you will pay 100 euro. However, in the case of ITT, this 100 euro will be deducted from the whole cost of a course if you are accepted to that university. The National University of Galway charges 35 euro for the application. DCU, which is Dublin City University, charges 50 euro. University College Cork, Minot University and Waterford University of Technology charges 50 50 euro as well. Number five, once you got approved to the university, you have to apply for a scholarship and try your chances and you can get a scholarship. I will leave a link in the description to this video so you can check if you're eligible for a scholarship and definitely apply if you are. But keep in mind the fact that you can apply to a scholarship only if you have received an offer to study in an Irish university. So you have to apply, receive an offer that you're being accepted and then you can apply it for scholarships. And number six, the easiest one, move to Ireland. Meanwhile, there are over 10 things that you have to do in your home country to get prepared for moving from your country to Ireland. Number one is pass an internationally recognized English exam, like TOEFL, Yelts, Cambridge, etc. Check online what kind of exams are being accepted in the university you want to apply to. I've personally had TOEFL and it was enough, it was great, and I easily went to a university with TOEFL. Number two is learn the Irish English accent or the accent of the country or place you will move to. It's very important because different people have different words, pronunciation, different accents. Number three is learn about the Irish culture and history. It's important to know about their history because the history and what happened in the past determines the behavior of people in the present. The next one is look for a part-time job if it's applicable to you. The number six is make your CV. Number seven is write some useful lists, like for example all the documents you need to have with yourself or things you have to do before you leave a country or what you have to pack in your luggage. It's really important to have some lists to make sure that you're organized. Number eight is save some money and save at least 3,000 euro to make sure you'll have enough money for your accommodation, food, visa. The next one is 
try to find and connect with people who already live in Ireland. It's very important to have some connections to make some friends. They will be really helpful and very useful for you when you'll move to this country. And the last but not the least is practice English as much as possible. This is a lifestyle. Try to live in English. Try to watch movies. Use your phone in English. Talk to people and talk to friends in English. This was a very short video about applying to Irish universities and I really hope this step-by-step -step guide was useful for you guys. Don't forget to make notes and follow all the steps to get approved to university and to be very organized. Please let me know in the comments to this video if you have some other questions and I could help answering to those questions. And if this video was useful for you, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. And for more communication, let's connect on Instagram. And for now, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.